Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. In the previous episode, we went into Yukiko's castle in the TV world, and we battled Shadow Chie, and that's pretty much all that happened. It was kind of an action-packed day, though. <laughs> Took up the majority of the episode, and, well, yeah. Outside of that, not much happened, but we can hear Nanako calling us from downstairs. The phone! Okay, apparently someone's on the phone wanting to talk to us. That's me! I am prepared just for you! I was going to deliver it to your house, but the situation changed. I need to come pick it up. Where am I? Getting to that. I'm in front of the gas station at the shopping district. Well, we know where that is, so... I guess we'll come pick it up! Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why Moroka couldn't just give it to us at school, but I guess we better ask Dojima. It's okay if we go out, and... Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning on going out at this hour. Yeah, it is kinda late, but my homeroom teacher sort of needs me. Wants to see you? You just transferred here and you're already done something. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all! Hmm, no. This is you we're talking about. Well, I guess I understand. Go take care of business and hurry back home. Alright, thanks Dojima for uh, trusting me. And yes, we can actually go outside of our house at night. It's kind of cool, I like the uh, night music. It's not half bad. But yeah, we gotta go to the shopping district. There's only so many locations you can actually go at night. And uh, just like you said, here's Moroka and his student. But it's not a lie! I really am on the way home from Graham school! I go home by myself. I wasn't trying to stay out and party. Oh god, Moroka's lecturing this girl. <laughs> so I expect it. Well, I do live pretty close. This is from your school jersey. I got for you. Take it. Okay, we get our uh, Yasuo High jersey. There are many different costumes in this game to acquire. If you put one of them in the equipped menu, you can walk through the dungeons in that costume. Now, now you've done it. Get the heck out of here! Uh, okay. See you tomorrow, Mr. Mo Moroka! Have have fun with that, uh, st student and screaming at her in the middle of a street. Yeah. Moroka's kind of weird, but that's not all we want to do. We actually want to go to the riverbank. Why? It's not important to the game at all, but there's a dog here. And I always say hi to this dog. The dog is digging at the ground with a single minded determination that is admirable. I like this dog. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've seen him, let's actually head back home and rest for the night because, well, there actually isn't too much to do at night at the moment. And we do have school tomorrow, so it's probably best if we turn in extra early and you're home. So what was it? You were given a school jersey? That's it? I could have just given you that. See, that's what I said my first time playing. I was like, this is going to be in class, but yeah. The incidents going around, everyone's on edge. Yeah, school is pretty rough. So we need school, we need to go to bed. And we're extra tired since we went to the dungeon. So let's retire and get ready for tomorrow. I wonder how Chi is doing. Too much stuff happened yesterday. I hope she's back to her usual self. everything yesterday. It's kind of embarrassing, you know? You two were right there to see my hidden feelings and all. Don't sweat it. The same thing happened to Yosuke, right? So, what was it like? Huh? Uh, how, how should I put this? Oh, I nearly forgot. None of that happened when yours awakened, huh? Hmm. Could that be because you've got nothing to hide? Oh, so nothing happened for you? I gotta agree that you seem like a pretty open guy. There's a funny air about you. I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. Hmm. 
I don't know. I guess that's what draws people to you or something like that. <laughs> yep, it's a compliment. Uh, if you say so. Anyways, what's most important right now is to rescue Yukiko. I'm dead set on coming. Remember, you promised. Oh crap, I still haven't gone to the bathroom. Hey, um... Thanks for saving me. Yosuke's cool and all, but there really is something different about you. I feel like you won't let me down. And indeed, we won't. We are sensing the faint bond between Chie. Cool! Social link, go! Yeah, didn't realize it yet. Pretty much all of our high school friends are gonna be social links. And she is no different. We have established a new bond. It will bring thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed with creating personas of the Chariot Arcana. Yeah! The Chariot Arcana is probably one of the more useful social links to obtain, so getting this one early on is definitely a plus. And you may earn an EXP bonus when fusing personas of the Chariot Arcana. Chie's determination battle has been enhanced. She can now wake up and knock down ally during battle. So now we have two people that can do that. It's pretty nice, actually. And you haven't yet asked Chie for her contact information. Ask her straight out, or say it's for the investigation. Now, I'd love to just ask her straight out, but unfortunately, we don't have the courage to do so. So we're going to have to kind of get around that fact and say it's for the investigation. Oh, right. You'll need this from now on, huh? We have to be careful of the fog that sets in after the rain, right? Let's save her before that happens. After the rain continues for a while, it may become foggy. You must train yourself as much as possible. Until then, you should go to Juness Food Court on days that you want to explore the other world. After a prolonged period of rain, it may become foggy in town. If you don't rescue someone who disappeared for the day, it fogs over. The game will end. Keep an eye on the weather report while improving your personas and equipment to be prepared for a rescue attempt. And yes, this game is basically on a time limit. We only have so many days to rescue Yukiko and hello and good afternoon all! My name is Mr. Kanto, your PE teacher. But since no one at this school teaches English, I'll be doubling up my roles! Nice. Don't be so disappointed. In fact, I've spent some time overseas. <laughs> One week of vacation time, to be exact. But that's more than enough to teach... <laughs> I don't, I'm not too sure about that, Kondo. We'll start with the basics of the basics. The English alphabet. It starts with the letter A, then B, then C, and then 23 more. Maybe that was a little too basic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you have an alphabet-related pop quiz, then. Let's see. Narukami. All right. The word alphabet comes from the word alpha. What other one? Well, that would be a beta, since, you know, that's kind of what our English language is based on. We gave an answer we thought was correct. Good, that is correct. It comes from the first letter of the Greek alphabet, alpha and beta. By the way, any set of Western European characters in a specific order is called an alphabet. In Japan, when we say alphabet, we're talking about the English alphabet but it doesn't always mean the English one. And you gave the correct answer, and we'll get an academic increase. Nice. So now is the first day that we actually have complete freedom to do whatever we want after class. And the fog will come after several days of rain. You must prepare to take action. Starting today, you will spend your time after school however you wish. You may visit facilities in town or in school, but remember to enter the TV before the fog sets in. You must enter the TV from the food court in Juniz. Make sure that you've prepared by purchasing equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna rescue her, alright? And you can also press the square button to travel anywhere, and I love that feature so much. So this is pretty much the majority of the time we're gonna be spending in Persona 4. We're going to be doing a lot of social links, and we're actually going to start a new one today as well. Starting two in the same day. 
kind of cool. We're actually going to head over to the shopping district and then enter this velvet door. Welcome to the velvet room. I shall tell you about how I can offer you my assistance. I can gather a number of the personas you possess and provide you with the ability to fuse them. I have suggestions for the creation of powerful personas that may be of use to you. If you want to summon a new persona that you have not registered, please try the Summon Persona option. However, if you register a persona in the Compendium, you will be able to summon that persona by selecting Check Compendium. If you wish to know more about the Compendium, please ask Margaret. Alright, I will do just that. And this is hands down probably my favorite feature and persona. The ability to fuse and create new personas. For whatever reason, this is just the most addicting thing in the game. So we have six personas to choose from with different arcanas and different levels. If we choose two or more, we can fuse them to create a new one. This is going to be incredibly important and pretty much be the bulk of the time I spend in this game, actually. Just trying to figure out the right persona for the right scenario it is a bit tricky, but for the time being, a lot of these personas that we can fuse are way higher level than us, and you can only summon a persona that you are the same level as or under. Yeah. And yeah, we actually want to talk to Marie here also to start a social link. A wish? I don't have any. I do, but it's not for now. Uh, telling you wouldn't help anyway. Marie doesn't seem interested in you. It seems your relationships need some sort of spark in order to deepen. Well, we are actually going to force that spark to happen by leaving the Velvet Room and then entering once more. We should be able to start a new social link with her. And yes, we got huh? it. Nice. Oh, you came. You must come here a lot, huh? No, only three times so far, I think. What do you want this time? A persona? Skill card? Doesn't matter to me. Uh, why are you so standoffish, goodness? Excuse us, Marie. You must learn to restrain yourself. Huh? Uh, th 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 what's that supposed to mean, stupid dumb blockhead twerp? Is that really how you should talk to Margaret? I don't know. Uh, I apologize sincerely. She is far too unruly for me to handle. Uh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel bad for Margaret, you know? And, mm -hmm, you're quite right. <laughs> However, this is all to help you on your journey. Uh, what do you mean my journey exactly? This room is inseparable from your fate. Nothing in this room happens without purpose. It seems that you and Marie had already met before you encountered her in this room. Encountering one who is not of man and communicating with her, your fate has led you to this meeting. Mmm, I have no idea what you're talking about, Margaret, but you definitely have intrigued me substantially. Well, now, we shall see. This room is the crossroads of your fates. You, the customer, and she, who is not of man, who has wandered into this place. Where will this meeting lead? Excuse me for saying so, but we too are a bit interested in the outcome. Mm. Though she was in this land before you, in the end, Marie is not of man. In other words, her understanding of the world in which you live is incomplete. Therefore, I ask of you to please take her outside this room, if you would. Okay, Marie. <clears throat> Whatever. Never mind. It seems Murray is interested in leaving this place. You should speak with her when you have the time. Well, today we have the time because we have nothing else to do. So why don't we check on the dwellers of the Velvet Room and see what Murray would like to do. You came? I'm surprised. I didn't think you were interested. Look, I'm sure you already know, but I want you to take me somewhere. It's small, it's dark, the nose never says anything. It's stuffy in here. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm really not supposed to leave the room, but Margaret said it's okay if I went with you. But I... Well, never mind. So, will you take me somewhere? 
Uh, sure, Marie, and it sounds like you really want to leave. If you become closer to her, maybe she could tell you something. Sure, we'll spend the day with Marie, and really? Do you think you're giving in too easily? I'll have you twist around my finger if you keep this. <laughs> we'll see about that, Marie. I'm pretty sure that won't happen. That's the right saying, right? I've been studying. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Marie's kind of odd, but then again, she kind of resides in a very odd place, so I guess it's understandable. And we decide to spend the day with Marie, walking around the shopping district, and we're in front of the Suzai Dogaku store. Yeah, and you took Marie out of the velvet room. I already said that, and I can finally breathe now. It's stuffy in that car. <laughs> Understandable, and probably get motion sickness after driving for so long. Then again, it's a limo, so who's to say? You know, I feel weird. It's like nostalgic for the smell and all. Nostalgic? Did you live here before? What? Yeah, nostalgic. That's what I said. It just feels that way. There's a lot of stuff that I've never noticed before. Like, what? A steak skewer? Uh, is there a problem? You don't like steak? Are you vegetarian? Hey, lady. I want one of those steak skewer things. Oh, hello. That'll be 320 yen. Please. It's difficult to say. Uh, that's hard to say. <laughs> you can't pronounce 320? Can't eat without money? No? Do you want me to pay for it if you don't have any cash? Huh? I'll be glad to. You have money? That's awesome! You're awesome. <laughs> okay, uh, Marie looks incredibly surprised for some reason and... Yo, you! Getting your steak on, huh? Oh, she's cute. Uh, yeah, I don't really think so, but... What, what, what's going on here? Who's this? Uh, she's... She, she's just kind of a friend. <laughs> Definitely not my little sister. Definitely not an acquaintance either. And Friend? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I see. A uh, friend, you say? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm Yesuke Hanamura. I'm his friend. His partner, you know. <laughs> Wink. Partner? You mean like a close friend? <laughs> yeah! About sums it up. What's your name? Um, huh. Marie. Uh, okay, Marie Chan, is it? It's kind of not a Japanese name, and you want a steak skewer? All right, let's get one. Seems uh, Yosuke is buying some, and you—you you mean you're buy it for me? Is that okay? S sure, why not? I mean, there's no real reason to decline. Like, it's <laughs> being nice about it. Take free food, Marie. God. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I got a little extra in my last paycheck. Three steak skewers, one for each of us. Aw, oh, dang, Yosuke's such a guy. Oh, my business is booming. Just a minute, please. <laughs> UA steak skewers for Yosuke and Marie. Dang, this is nice, you know? Just three pals hanging out. Oh, looks like there isn't really a chair for Yosuke. Oh, that was a belly full. This place makes huge portions. So, Marie-chan, what do you think of the local specialty? <laughs> winking a lot and it's really weird it's tough hard to bite into and it got cold while I was still eating it oh guess not really that but wait what it was delicious <laughs> that's good it sounded like you liked it at the beginning but <laughs> yeah no kidding you was okay but all as well that ends well I guess hey hey why is it called steak anyway is it short for something no that's kind of just the name for it <laughs> it's short for steak Let's uh, go with that. That's stupid. You stupid me! Don't make me want a steak! Never mind, I, I'm sorry. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, that, that isn't much better. <laughs> yeah, breathing it in like that. And you, don't tell her lies. She's believing it. <laughs> you eat this every day? No fair. <laughs> I should have come earlier. <laughs> I guess she uh, really likes the steak, and it seems Marie has taken a liking to the steak skiers. You made some on top of Yosuke and Marie. Whoa! Ah, uh, crap! I left my key back in my locker at work! Convenient! I've gotta go back to Junis. See you later, you. And you too, Marie-chan. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it to Yosuke. Your partner is a funny person. Yeah, he is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I like Yosuke a lot, by the way. And, hmm. But, you bought me meat. That makes him a good person. 
That is fact. I, I'm not sure that makes him instantly a good human being, but hey, if you think so, go for it. And Marie wants to go somewhere where there's a nice view. So we decided to uh, go to the hill overlooking the town. After several times in which you lost Marie, the moment you took your eyes off her, you managed to bring her here. Oh. <sighs> it's really green here. Is that a problem? Green and green. And some brown and darker green. Yep, that's usually what parks are like. Uh, leaves are green. Fly away. Farewell to you, clouds on the sky. I fly as well. Lost as the day. Farewell to you, moon on the... N uh, Maria's mummering to herself. Whatever it is, it rhymes. Neat. I said no. I, I wasn't making up a poem. It's just some words that I was thinking. That's all. Uh, shut up, I hate you, stupid jerk! Don't snoop on me. <laughs> okay, uh, Maria's blushing and apparently easily offended. For some reason, and she's running off again. Okay, and, well, it's pretty big. I don't know why, but I feel good about this place. It reminds me of something. Hmm. Are there any other places we can go? I want to see more. No, I gotta go home. I gotta go to school, Marie. God dang. No. <sighs> no, I'm not going home. Eh, angst. Eh, I'm Marie. Eh. Oh, sorry, but... I've noticed a lot of things when I'm with you, and you sense that Marie expects something of you. Okay, you feel the understanding Marie between Marie- Oh my god! Social link. Go. <laughs> well, we got another Arcana social link. Yay, now we can summon personas of the Aeon Arcana. They'll be stronger. Yeah, it's not like that's my main reason for talking to Marie or anything. No, I'm very interested in about her po poetry. Anyways, you have established a social link with Marie of the Aeon Arcana. Yeah, we haven't really encountered a persona of that kind, and we probably won't for a while, but keep it in mind. All right, next time, where to now? Uh, there's a lot of places to go, and I guess I'll think of it later, and... We escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Yeah, we had a pretty interesting day. Uh, we showed <laughs> Marie around, and... Huh. It seems Dojima isn't here. Sneak out of town at night? You can sneak out at night when Dojima isn't around. However, you'll be too tired to go if you explore inside the TV that day. So be careful. And yes, that will be coming important later, but I'd feel really bad, you know, just leaving without Dojima's permission. That's just horrible. And Nanako could also rat at me, and blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of crap we can do. Oh my gosh, that's, well, actually, that one's pretty important. The calendar lets us keep important dates, and it's a Persona 3 calendar. Yeah, it's kind of cool on you. This shows you your upcoming schedule. But today is the first day, I think, that we want to actually study here. The study desk! Which will let us increase our knowledge and sometimes our other stats. There's a bunch of activities you can basically do in your room to make your stats go up higher. Now we're going to be focusing on those stats throughout the game. It's not really going to be too important right now, but we want to make sure we can maximize our days the best we can to make them the most efficient they can be. And <gasps> our knowledge increased. Yeah. I realize this is sudden, but I'm Margaret. We met at the Velvet Room the other day. There is one important point I forgot to warn you about, so I thought it best to contact you immediately. Going to save your friends is a selfless and noble deed. By all means, we encourage and support you in regards to this matter. But to proceed too hastily in that quest will mean facing one battle after the next. Though you may be pressed for time, devoting yourself to battles will not quench your heart's yearnings. The bonds created through social links are another important means of strengthening the powers of your persona. Do not hasten heedlessly through your days, and remember the importance of moving at a sustainable pace. Please remember that. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You took Marie's advice to heart. 
You should think carefully about how you spend your days. Cool. So yeah. Kind of get the picture by now, but I'm gonna just gonna reiterate. This game has a lot to do with planning your day and yo! Oh, what's up? You got morning practice? Two students are walking rather close near us and you know how guys can join the sports club starting today, right? I thought that maybe if I ran around a little, that would be some good promotion. Uh, dude, if you run around in that, how are people going to know which club you're in? Oh, that kind of <laughs> does uh, foil his plans a little bit. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Classic. Uh, I help our club get some fresh blood, too. It gets everyone excited. Are you guys not going to try and get people to sign up? Uh, I don't know about that. Everyone's saying they want a girl to be our manager, though. Oh, hey. Let's stop by the shrine in the shopping district on our way home today. Might as well pray for some newcomers. <laughs> We're leaving that up to God now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Did you hear that rumor about the thing that lives at the shrine? I did. I wonder if it's true. Hmm. Something that lives at the shrine. These guys definitely piqued my interest. And they are in a sports club. That's kind of cool. And classes have ended for the day. The fog will come after several days of rain. You recall being told that you could join a sports club. Maybe you could find out how to join by visiting the faculty office on the first floor. You have the opportunity to join clubs. Build more social links. Building social links equates to better personas. Better personas maybe kick more button dungeons. So we want to do that. Now this is like the biggest new mistake every time people play Persona. Is that you can actually join multiple clubs. And yeah, we haven't really explored our school a little bit. It's a nice looking school. There's a bunch of, you know, floors and stuff. And a couple people to talk to. Might as well talk to some of the NPCs. I think there's a girl over here who says something vaguely interesting. And have you heard of the Midnight Channel that reveals the person you're destined for? Everyone's totally into that lately. Especially me. I wonder if I could get it to work. <laughs> Only way I want to find out. What about you, Senpai? Is there a certain someone you'd like to see on the TV? Uh, maybe? <laughs> really? Oh, it pains me to ask who, but I shall reframe <laughs> the beauty of being so young. Good luck, senpai. Oh, okay, random girl, I don't know. Why are you calling me your senpai? Uh, yes, this is actually the practice building. We need to go to the faculty office, and that way it's where the clubs are being well, conducted, I guess. <laughs> or, that's where we're going to join a club eventually. And oh, this guy's wearing a uniform. Let's talk to him. Hey man, what do you think of the mountains? They're mountainy. I guess they're fun. Cool. Great minds think alike. Well, I've mostly only read about them, but aren't they awesome? A lot of people say there's like negative and positive ions in the mountains that are good for your health. Cool. Thanks for that info, bud. And here's the faculty office. Maybe we should inquire about joining a club for sports. Someone would call that a sports club. And <clears throat> God, I gotta go. You want to join a club? Oh no! I know what you're really after. You need to try for girls! Admit it! Uh, not exactly more okay. Listen up! A club is supposed to be. And for some reason, you find yourself getting lectured. So, are you still doing a club? Sure. Let's ask him about the sports clubs. Trying to break a useful swing? You can join either the soccer club and the regular club. After leaving the faculty office, make a left, go through the exit down the hall to get to where the sports clubs are. By the way, club days are Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Sports clubs do not meet on rainy days. Got it? Yeah, thanks, Moroka, for the info. You're again here. You know what? I guess. I'll, I'll ask you about clubs at a later date. Go home already, or are you staying at school to hang out with girls? What is up with this guy and girls, man? Jeez. Profiling. Anyways. Rex is going to follow his advice and go all the way down this hall to where the sports clubs are meeting at. And then we're going to choose which sports club to join. You can go to the gym or the field from here. It seems the clubs are practicing. You want to join the basketball club or the soccer club? Come to think of it, you recall Igor's words. As you form bonds, by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. You wonder if you can create a social link here. 
Hence, you can. Will you join the basketball club or the soccer club? Now, personally, I love basketball, but getting a max social link with the soccer club is far easier. So that's the one we are going to be choosing. Then. All right, guys, listen up. You have a new teammate. You all know you know Rakami, right? Wait, let's say the teacher. We know who this is, and he's from the city. So I'm sure he's got some moves he's just waiting to show off. I'd say the season is in the bag. I'm even thinking about making him captain. Well, just like that? I can hear the other players whispering. The city, huh? I bet he played for some big team. <laughs> Look at him, city slicker. Probably thinks he's better than... Oh, dang, these guys are jumping to conclusions, rather. <laughs> he thinks we're just a He thinks they were just a bunch of hicks. And, yeah... Why don't you say something to the team? Nice to meet you all. <laughs> I think uh, saying I'm your new captain would be kind of straightforward. And they don't seem very friendly. Oh, well, that's reassuring. All right, let's get started with a few laps. You, why don't you just watch for today? Practices are on Tuesdays, Thursdays. We all meet in the rain. Duh. We take the week before exams off, too. So make sure you use the time to study hard, okay? All right, sounds pretty cool. And the other players showing no interest in you... Dispersed about the field. Dang, hey, bummer. And, hey, it's, hey, it's that guy that we saw before. Don't let him get to you. Just play hard and have fun. Second year. Same as you. Nice to meet you. Oh, dang, he's pretty friendly. Let's go! <laughs> oh, it seems these guys are uh, friends. And Oh, hey, you're the transfer student, right? Join the soccer team, huh? Hmm. Good. Cause they need all the help they can get. Pretty weak team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dang, Dice gets a jerk. Shut up! Your team is just as lame. Yeah, this big mouth here is Ko. He is the same grade as us. But he's on the basketball team. I'm the basketball team's up and coming MVP. Well, nice to meet you too, dude. Man, get your head out of the clouds. <laughs> hey, that's not all. I'm pretty smart too. So if you need any help on your tests, I'm your man. Oh, thanks for the offer? <laughs> How about it, transfer student? You a smart guy? Stop calling him that! He has a name. The team's already giving him enough crap as it is. Ah, uh, I can hear it now. Us country folk ain't gonna get shown up by no city city boy. <laughs> Gotta love those guys. <laughs> it's a pretty good impression out of Co, and it's not funny, man. Well, as long as he's got some skills, they'll back off sooner or later. You play much soccer before you? Uh, a tiny bit. Not too much, I guess. Hmm. Just with friends. Hmm. Maybe it'll take longer than I thought. He became friends with Ko Ichigo of the basketball team and Daisuke Nakasai of the soccer team. Hey, we made two friends in one day. They accepted you regardless of the rest of the team's hostility. You feel a faint bond between the three of you. The three of you this time! Whoa! Crazy. And yes, we are going to establish another bond with two people that are, in my opinion, a little more interesting than Marie. And thou art I. I art thou. Strength Arcana. Yeah! It's really strong. We'll get into that later. It's kind of interesting how we just got all of the, or two of the physical Arcanas in like the same episode. And you established the social media fellow student get my... Yeah, it says on the screen. I'm not drunk. Dang it! I've gotta do my laps. You wait up for me. We can walk home together. All right, I'll get changed. See you in a few. Well, depending on how fast he runs his laps, I guess. And yeah, you finished uh, watching Daisuke do his laps and stuff. And we come back home. Oh man, kind of a long day, I'm not gonna lie. We had a lot, a lot of new social links starting today. We got Yosuke, we got Chie now, we got the fellow athletes, and also Marie, man. If you think that's all the people we're gonna meet in this game, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of people. So <laughs> rest assured, things are gonna get a lot more interesting as time goes on. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and in the next episode, we do some more social links, and also meet up with Yosuke again. So see you guys then. Bye.